Kavis Aidy, violinist and music educator. I'm back today with another violin shoulder rest and chin rest review. Previously I reviewed the Everest shoulder rest and the Augsburg chin rest and I recommend this Everest to all my students and I use it myself but I've been using this Performa shoulder rest for the last week or so and used it on a gig last night played about four hours with it what do I have to say about this shoulder rest it feels phenomenal it's very comfortable probably the most comfortable shoulder rest that I've used it feels like really there's nothing there uh, one key feature about this Performa shoulder rest is that as you can see it's wider in the point where it touches your shoulder than the Everest. And I feel, you know, this, I can't prove it scientifically, that it supports more of the weight more evenly throughout the shoulder. One thing about these Everest shoulder wrists, as you can see, is that there seems to be some leverage uh, point downward while you're playing, especially if you put your shoulder rest really high and that can translate into you gripping with your neck and your head while you're playing. Because this Performa has this extended lip right here, it seems to counteract some of that leverage downward and distribute the weight more evenly. The Performa shoulder rest comes with three different lengths of feet. The feet themselves, they're rubber they're rubber coated. They're, they're very stable. The shoulder rest didn't fall off at all when I was playing my gig last night. Um, seems to take a cue from the Everest in that regard. They're very wide. And what I would also recommend is you just go ahead and get extra long feet, especially if you're tall, maybe a, a couple of extra long feet because the feet can be screwed all the way into the base of the shoulder rest. So if you don't like the longer feet, just screw them in and you'll, you'll be fine. So phenomenal shoulder rest, Performa shoulder rest. There is going to be a link down below. You can click on it and read all about it. One gripe I have with the Performa is that it's a little bit heavy and a little bit expensive. So, you know, if you want a little bit lighter version of this instrument, you can go ahead and get the Wooden model, which is about $85. A little steep for shoulder rests, but worth it if you're a professional or advanced student. That, that weight that I mentioned, as I said before, the weight of the violins evenly distributed throughout my body. So you don't really feel that weight while you're holding the violin. You do feel that weight while you're handling the violin. So you'll have to see what you think. And if you don't like this one, maybe you can sell it to one of your, one of your friends. Let's talk about the chin rest. One thing that I have to mention is that I had a pretty severe neck injury two years ago and had to have surgery for it. So I've been looking for an option for a chin rest that felt more comfortable, but also extended my neck upwards a little bit. You know, after doing physical therapy for a number of months, uh, the physical therapist recommended for me to keep my head backwards, more centered on my shoulders, uh, you know, better posture overall, which is common sense, but it's hard to think about while you're shredding <laughs> uh, on the violin. So what is it about this wave chin rest that's so great? Well, it has this extra lip that's extent. It's not an extra lip. It's just the design of it that the lip extends a little bit this way. So while you're playing, you can keep your head a little bit more to the rear of your body while you're playing. And the, the net effect is that maybe, perhaps your neck is a little bit straighter while you're playing. You know, I can't scientifically prove this, but I do feel that my posture is improved with this wave chin rest. It's very smooth, it's comfortable. My jaw glides over this point. It's a little bit flatter than the Whitner Augsburg that I recommended previously. Whitner Augsburg, probably the most comfortable chin rest, but if you're tall, I would recommend going for something like this, the Wave. 
the wave comes in three different heights. There's a one inch uh, from the top of the violin. There's a 1.25 inch and a 1. Uh, 1.5 inch model. I'm actually waiting on a 1.75 uh, special order for me because I'm six foot one. But if you're tall, I would say go ahead and opt for the 1.5. I don't think you'll be disappointed. There's no, it doesn't jar against my neck. I feel pretty stable with it. I have no problems with shifting or vibrato or anything like that. Wave chin rest, highly recommended. Performa shoulder rest, unbelievable. Just a quick note about this Performa. I, I gotta say, it really feels like there's nothing there while you're playing with this Performa. So most comfortable setup for the time being, yes. You know, I might go back to the Everest shoulder rest because it seems like I can get a little bit more height with it. But if you're the kind of player that has been taking off your shoulder rest, putting on a sponge like the Artino or a, a makeup pad, putting back on the shoulder rest, taking off the shoulder rest, trying to play without one, I would recommend this one because I feel a connection with my collarbone and the bottom of the violin right there. And it doesn't really feel like there's a shoulder rest there at all. It feels like the bottom of a viola, you know, a thicker base from which to work with. Very comfortable option for violinists. That's all I have for you today. Again, this is Kava Saidi, violinist and music educator. You can hear any of my three albums on iTunes and Spotify. There'll be links down below for all these products. And if you like what you saw today, hopefully you did, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.